I was listening to somebody teach a lesson and they gave this astronomical number about how many times the Bible says fear not. Well, I thought, I don't remember it saying it that many times. So I looked it up and the Bible does actually say 63 times, fear not. So I guess if the Bible says something 63 times, we ought to pay attention to it. We ought to care about what it says. So I chose a few of those verses. Genesis 15, 1, fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. He said, fear not, I am here to protect you. Uh, Genesis 21, 17, what aileth thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. You know, he was comforting Hagar by saying, fear not. God has heard what you said and is going to take care of you. Genesis 26, 24, fear not, for I am with thee and will bless thee. You know, these verses, even as I'm saying them, I, I think, why am I so fearful? Can I, can I be honest with you? I'm going to stop reading verses just to say this to you, and I try to always be honest with you. But I have fears, you know. Every time I get behind the wheel of a vehicle, and we're going to take a trip. I say, Lord, this could be the day that you choose to let us have a wreck. Just let me trust you with it. You know, I have fears. You know, when we're going through big cities, and I, I don't know if you, I'm trying to teach you something, ladies. When you see a big truck, don't zip right in front of that big truck because he doesn't have the stopping power that you do. It takes him a whole truck length to stop. And when we are driving through a big city, and I'm driving my big rig, and a car juts out in front of me, I can't stop like that car. It would be easy for me to hit them. And it, so I'm fearful of cars st jutting in front of me, you know. And so I have fears, you know. I, I don't fear about the future. Usually I don't, I, have not, I don't think about the fact that we don't have a savings account and we don't have, I just daily, God's going to take care of me. And I'm not saying that that's wise, that we didn't put away money. I'm not, any of you that do it, I'm happy for you. But in our financial situations, we just weren't able to. So I have a lot of fear. But when I read that, fear not, for I am with thee and will bless thee, you know, it just brings a calm to me. I'm thinking about printing all these fear nots and putting them up in the driver's seat. And every time I get in the driver's seat, just read through those scriptures to help me. To Jacob, in Genesis 46, 3, he said, Fear not to go down into Egypt, for I will there make of thee a great nation. Don't fear to go there, because I'm going to take care of you. Deuteronomy 1, 21, Lord God of thy fathers has said unto thee, Fear not, neither be discouraged. Boy, do you ever get discouraged. I was talking to somebody the other day about their, they were talking to me about their weight and how discouraging it is. You know, I, I know, we're, we're in the yo-yo program, all of us, up and down, up and down, but you know, fear not, neither be discouraged. Joshua 8, 1, Lord said unto Joshua, fear not, neither be thou dismayed. Dismayed means you're really upset. And boy, isn't it easy to be really upset sometimes. So fear not. Luke 5, 10, let's go to the New Testament. And Jesus said unto Simon, fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. He's, he's trying to assure Simon, you got a new job ahead of you. And I don't know about you, but I'm not one that likes changes. And so when I think of something new coming, it's a little fearful. But he said there, don't fear, Simon. Luke 8.50, fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. Are you fearful because somebody's sick in your life? Hey, I'm ringing my bell because right now my husband's got some health. He's got a pinched nerve and has got a lot of pain going through his left arm. And it's just, I don't know where to go. We've been to several doctors already, and, and we're trying some health healthy things, chiropractors, we've tried everything. So I'm just saying, Lord, you're going to make them whole or else we can't stay on the road in evangelism. So I just keep praying that God will take care of this. You know what? I hope you've gotten some peace today as I've read these scriptures about fear not. Do you use scriptures like that? Do you, do you get them out and you just read all through the ones that, that can help you get through that life situation? I hope you will. And remember, fear not. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice.